Many of you have asked me to talk about stocks. Well, here we go. This video represents a report on some of my investments and it shall not be taken as financial advice. Peter Lynch once said that uh, small investors have advantage over large investment firms as they can invest in companies and businesses operating in sectors they understand and they are passionate about. If you like Starbucks and you spend a lot of time in the cafe, you might know much more about the business than an investment company on Wall Street. You can buy and sell Starbucks stocks whenever you feel so, unlike a company which might experience bureaucratic hurdles for such an attempt. I personally spent a lot of time studying genomics, machine learning, cybersecurity, and biotechnology. And many companies operating in these sectors overlap more often than not. You'll often see a genomics company relying on machine learning strategies to the advantage of their operations. Now, when it comes to genomics, my top three favorite picks are CRISPR Therapeutics, Editas Medicine, and Intelia Therapeutics. These three companies hold patents on the CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing technology. CRISPR-Cas9 is revolutionizing medicine and agriculture as we speak, and my guess is that it will only progress in the next few years. With CRISPR-Cas9, scientists can make very precise edits of the human genome, potentially leading to the cure of the incurables. And I don't think this is an overstatement. Also, think of designer babies, as in the movie Gattaca. Well, yes, that is currently possible. And as a matter of fact, it has already been done. Genome edited babies designed to resist HIV were born in China in 2018. And it has been written a lot about it in the media, so you might want to check it out. With CRISPR-Cas9, we can also modify crops to concentrate more nutrition and better resist the pests and harsh weather. This is next level GMO. I am very found on CRISPR-Cas9 because in 2014, two years after it has been popularized, so to speak, I attended a conference in New York City where Jennifer Davna and Emmanuel Charpentier received a prize from the New York Academy of Science. I was bewildered upon imagining the implications they were lecturing about. And I'm still fascinated by the accelerated pace at which this technology performs. I mean, from 2012, when it was put under the spotlight, to 2018, the first gene-edited babies, to 2021, where multiple human clinical trials are undergoing for in vivo genome editing to treat various untreatable conditions. It's mind-blowing. Okay, now other biotech and genomics companies that I frequently invest in are Sensionics, Unity Biotechnology, BioNanogenomics, Harvard Biosciences, Co-Diagnostics. Moving on, I invest in semiconductor and haptics companies like Tower Semiconductor, Taiwan Semiconductor, and Immersion Corporation. I do a lot of investing in 3D printing companies like Voxeljet, Stratasys, Nanodimensions, 3D Systems, and X1, which is one of my favorites. Lastly, space and satellite companies that I invest in are Gillette Satellite Networks, Kratos Defense, Maxar Technologies, and Virgin Galactic. Now, as an added bonus, here's an exercise of thought for you. What happens when the need for objects, utilities, and even constructions in space is increasing and the cost of carrying them from Earth is astronomical. Think about it and tell me below. The underlying principle is that all of these companies I mentioned operate in sectors I am very passionate about and I study with utmost curiosity and thirst. Some of them are only very early in their process, leaving lots of rooms to growth and innovation. 